Laundry Room Coupon Stockpile updated video, but before we get into the tour, I want to share with you some exciting news. Closet Mates saw my master bedroom closet, and I'll have that link down below in case you missed it, and they loved it so much. They wanted me to be the Closet Mate ambassador, and I couldn't be more pleased that they wanted me to represent their product. They want me to work on their newest product called the Closet Mate Space Creations. They also asked if I can do not only one closet, but two closets in our home, and of course I said yes. Our walk-in pantry and our son's bedroom closet. Everything arrived on Monday, and I tell you my garage is packed with boxes and closet systems. So be sure to follow me on Instagram at Be My Guest with Denise and Facebook for updates. Some of you who have been with me for a while know that I'm an extreme couponer. Well, here's the update. I still and always, always will coupon. It's just not that extreme any longer. So I did a few updates on this closet so it can be a little more efficient than storing a tons and tons of products. So in this part of the closet, I made things more simple because I still have products in our garage and I'll do an updated video of that garage as well. The top shelf is where I store my OxyClean washing machine cleaner and magic erasers. And the back is empty for when OxyClean goes on sale. I'll have room to put more back there. I didn't want to fill the space just because it was empty, I wanted to have room to grow. On the second shelf is where my obsession of hand soaps and lemon sprays, one, three, nine, and five are my faves. And you can get them from Home Goods anywhere from about $4.99 to $7.99 a bottle. I always pick up a few when I can because it's usually a hit or miss when you go to Home Goods. Underneath the hand soaps is this undershelf basket I got from Target. I spray painted it this ocean mist color that I had already to match some of the other accessories in our laundry room. It's great to hold my stain pens, dryer balls, and some of my DIY stain removers that Carrie gave me. And the shelf is very simple to install. Below the undershelf basket, I removed a few shelves to put my new vacuum cleaner inside. My other vacuum conked out on me, so I purchased this Shark Navigator Lift Away, and it's really awesome, especially if you have stairs, and it's loaded with a lot of cool features. I will have a link on my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com in case you're interested. And I just don't have a clue what those lines are, but hey, it's just a closet. I have a small broom and dustpan on the left, along with my duster for easy access. On the door, I have this mop and broom hanger organizer with four hooks. It helps to keep your mops and brooms off the floor, and the hook is great for hanging scrub brushes, like my grout cleaner brush. You can use this in your kitchen, utility room, and even your garage. I've always kept my dishwasher tabs in the top cabinet, along with my dishwashing liquid, stain releases, and starch, and it's always helpful to label things so that everyone knows where it should go. In the middle cabinet are my Swiffer refills, my smell goods, and everything you see here I got for almost nothing just using coupons. In the last upper cabinet, I had to get a little creative. These clear containers I got from random stores like Family Dollar, Home Depot, Tuesday morning. I chose clear boxes because you can see through them, but I also removed the bulbs from the original packaging to save space. In a smaller clear container, I did the same thing with these oil warmers. I used to have them on a pegboard, it just took up too much space. This was so much easier. The container I purchased from Tuesday morning, it was $2.99 and it was in the craft section. These little compartments are great for felt pads and my cedar hearts to keep my drawers fresh. Everything is labeled and neatly packed in these clear containers so nothing gets broken. So this is where my detergent lives. I had to try this detergent in a drink dispenser. I see it all over the place and I must say I absolutely love it. I got the jar from Walmart for $4.99 and I placed it on top of a candle holder and I used the top from the detergent and placed it in this tray that I got from Target Dollar Spot. And everything is sitting on a marble tray. My bulk detergent is in the garage so when this gets low, I fill the dispenser with another bottle. 
So not much has changed from the last time. I get deodorant and toothpaste for free all of the time. In fact, I make money buying it. So this shelf has mouthwash and extra cups. Again, I didn't fill the space for the sake of filling the space. I'm trying really hard to have room to grow. On this shelf is the overflow from another storage closet I have in our home. And I have bar soaps and lotions here. On the second shelf are extra facial tissue and paper towels are kept here. And on the bottom shelf is where I keep my cleaning rags. And in the blue folder is where the washing machine and vacuum manual is kept. In the washer and dryer pedestal drawer is where I keep more supplies. My attachments to my shark vacuum and my carpet cleaner, along with Swiffer pads. The wire baskets I got from the flea market for a dollar each. They fit perfectly in the pedestal. I could just lift the baskets out, use what I need, and then put the baskets right back in. And the other pedestals are garbage bags, dryer sheets, and extra lint rollers are kept here. And in the blue tin is where I keep my mesh bags. So don't forget you guys to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Be My Guest with Denise. And I'll have links to some of the products shown in this video on my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com. And I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you.